Luka Doncic has been one of the biggest sensations in the basketball world in the last couple of years. Going from a borderline all-star as a rookie, and the rookie of the year, no surprise, to a near MVP in his second season. This kid is 21 years old, and he's already averaging more than 29 points per game, more than nine boards, and nine assists. He is a machine, plain and simple. And yet there's some people who are reacting to the fact that the astronomical numbers he's putting up is giving him more attention than other stars. As such, there appears to be, outside of Dallas, a bit of a backlash effect here, wherein people are citing instead players like Russell Westbrook and James Harden. This was brought up most recently by Jalen Rose, who had the following to say. James Harden's been doing this. Let's not act like James Harden hasn't been giving us 50-point triple-doubles and Russell Westbrook didn't just average a triple-double two years ago. While on the surface this might not seem like such an egregious statement, it lacks all context. Yes, it's true, James Harden has the most 50-point triple-doubles in NBA history. Yes, it's true that Russell Westbrook not once but twice averaged triple-doubles, the first time we've seen that since Oscar Robertson. He also has the single-season triple-double record with 42. For context, Luka Doncic is leading the NBA this year with 17. However, the context is everything. I already referenced that, it's everything. You have people who say, yeah, Luke is great, but his career high is 42 points. So even though he's putting up these triple doubles, like his game against the Bucks the other night, wherein he had, what was it, 36 points, 19 assists, and 12 rebounds, dude did work. That's great. However, the context here is the age. Yes, Harden and Westbrook have done big things in their career. Westbrook is also 31 years old, and James Harden is also 30 years old. Do you know what the two of them did at age 21, aka Luka Doncic's age now? I'll tell you. In his age 21 season, Russell Westbrook averaged 16.1 points per game, 4.9 rebounds, and 8 assists. Now, 8 assists is very nice for his second year of the league, but it still falls behind Luka. The points are 13 plus points behind Luka per game, and the rebounds are drastically short as well. Almost five full rebounds fewer per game. James Harden was still coming off the bench in Oklahoma City in his age 21 season, averaging 12.2 points, 3.1 rebounds, and 2.1 assists. He was not the MVP that he has become in Houston. He wasn't even yet the sixth man of the year in Oklahoma City at this time. It wouldn't be until the next year that he really emerged as a breakout star for that Thunder team that went to the finals. Josh Eberle gives great context to this on Twitter addressing this little controversy. At age 21, Westbrook and Harden combined for two triple doubles and 11 games of 30 plus points. Meanwhile, Luka, already in this stage of his career, has 25 triple doubles and 35 games of 30 plus. As Josh says in his tweet, you have to be cinder block thick to not understand the point is he's already on their level, albeit 10 years earlier. Nobody is ever saying that they are not impressed with what Russell Westbrook did or what James Harden is doing now. Nobody has said that. What people are remarking at with Luka is that he's 21 years old. He's in his second year in the league, a, a freaking pandemic shortened year at that. And he's putting up bigger numbers than either of those guys did. Now, am I saying he's going to start putting up 50 point triple doubles and challenge Harden's record? No, this has overwhelmingly been the counter narrative back to the Rocket fans and Harden Westbrook fans specifically who are calling out this perceived bias in Luka's favor. The conversation is that Luka, right now, far earlier than anyone else at this stage in their career, is doing insane 
things. Now, yes, Derrick Rose was the youngest MVP, and I don't know that Luka's going to challenge that. I think Rose was something like 22 when he won MVP, so I guess Luka might have one more year. But I'm not saying necessarily that Luka will win, but what I am saying is I'm pretty sure he's in the top five MVP voting. I know he's not in the top three, but I'm pretty sure he cracks the top five. He was an all-star this year, and he has been one of the biggest stars in the basketball world the past two seasons. So whatever little degree of threatened you feel that your guys who have been doing this for a while aren't getting recognition, don't feel like you have to turn around and snipe at someone else who's getting recognized for doing something far earlier. It's also not lost on me how many people criticized Russell Westbrook's triple-double average of those two seasons by calling them empty stats, saying that he stat-padded and stole rebounds, but now that he's on the Rockets, now those same people and a lot of those same critics are suddenly praising him and saying, hey, you can't forget about Russell. But it's worth stating that Jalen Rose hasn't always had the best commentary to begin with. His notions and his headlines that he makes while not the worst out there, certainly tend to skew towards the polarizing. And that's what this feels like. Unfortunately, it's what a lot of media in general and sports media has pretty much devolved into. It's more about getting headlines and engagement in these kind of posts and discussions. And so you throw out there these hot takes, a lot of times these knowingly dishonest or lacking context takes, so that you can rile people up and pit fan bases against each other so that your comments draw a lot of attention and your perceived value goes up. I know it's kind of counterintuitive, therefore, for me to make a video actually addressing this, but as much as possible, I say don't take the bait. Try to hold out of it. I just wanted to do one on this because it's so ridiculous. That's all my time for this video, guys. Don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment below, subscribe to the Dallas Prospect, and until next time, remember, every legend was once a prospect.